Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to cover the curve import wizard that was added with PCM version 11. So, to use the import tool, go to utilities and then go to curve capture tool, and this dialog box will open up. So, I'll use the wizard to import this curve. Um, essentially, what is going to happen is we're just going to gener uh, generate a set of data points, uh, and you'll be able to use those data points, in, and it'll generate a text file and you'll be able to use that um, for whatever application you need. So let's have a quick look at how this works here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, click this little, go to the next step here, and we're going to need to take a screenshot of this. Uh, so PDF tools have a helpful um, tool where you go and take a snapshot, and we will just take a snapshot of that. And then the next thing we do is hit next, and we can see that that is imported for us. So we just need to grab the complete screen here, and we can add a name here. So discharge, and y-axis is uh, voltage, voltage, and we'll change the x-min to zero, well, the y-min is zero, x-max is four, the Y max is four, and the X is in milli amp hours. And we'll go to uh, the next screen. So it says here, click on the left corner, and then left click on the opposite corner. So we just need to grab the bounds of this. So we'll uh, zoom in by clicking, by right clicking, and then I'm going to left click. Then up here, I'm going to zoom in by right clicking, and then I'm going to left click. And we can see how we've got 4 to 0 and 0 to 4, defining the, the bounds of this. And we'll just go to the, uh, if, and if I didn't do it very well, we could just go back a screen and then we would get to do it again. So here I'll, I'll do one where I, I screw up and you can see, oh, that's not very good. So we'll go back and we'll just uh, right, right click to zoom in and then left click and then right click to zoom in and then left click and we get our bounds again. Uh, and then we go to the uh, next step. And now it says click on the graph to uh, the capture, uh, click on the graph to capture the data points. So we can right click again to zoom in and we're just gonna left click and then left click and then left click. And hopefully you can see that little kind of pinkish, whitish, reddish line that's kind of filling in as we go along here. And these are all of the data points that we're grabbing and um, you can take as many as you like along the curve uh, if you have a tool that will interpolate then you're all set if you have a curve that uh, if you need to um, actually capture a lot of data points then you can do that as well and we'll just try our best to do a good job here capturing the points And almost done. Okay, there we go. And then uh, we can have a look at what we got afterwards. So we can see where I was taking a lot of data points to, to capture the, the curve, and then where I was also taking bigger steps um, to, uh, during the flatter sections. And then uh, we hit save, and then we can save this somewhere as video um, video curve import and save it as a .txt save and then we can uh, actually open up that location and so here is the data points we just we just pulled in discharge versus voltage and um, yeah that's so that's uh, the, the data points. So actually to import this into PSIM we actually need to get rid of the title. So if we wanted to use this as a PSIM file we could then go and grab the lookup table and then open the file, all files, video curve input open. Oh, I didn't save it. Uh, save, open file, all files, video curve input open and we can see 
that there's the curve as we imported it. Okay, so that's uh, just a quick video going over how to do the curve import. Um, you can use it then this curve as part of a lookup table or if you just needed that those data points for an, another um, another use another uh, report or to verify with simulated results uh, versus data sheet you could do all sorts of things with those uh, with that information with this curve import um, the wizard is there for you to use and to generate uh, pairs with. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and check back again for more videos. Thank you so much.